Hello everyone, welcome to this particular session on strain energy concept and theorems. And uh, previous session we had solved a problem for, uh, related to a cantilever beam subjected to a point load at the free end. Wherein we were supposed to find out slope and deflection at the free end of the beam by Castiglione's theorem, that is Castiglione's method. And uh, during that particular session we learned there are two theorems related to Castiglione's method. And first theorem is related to how to find out the deflection. So, to find out the deflection, Cashel-Lunar's first theorem states that the partial derivative of the strain energy with respect to a load will get to the deflection at the point wherever the concentrated force has been placed. Likewise, second theorem states that they find out slope at any position, it is a partial differentiation of the strain energy with respect to the moment. So, same conditions we are going to continue for this particular problem. Now here the statement of the problem says is determine slope and deflection at the free end of a cantilever beam by Castiglione's method. So to begin with we shall start with what is actually a strain energy. Strain energy as we had derived in the previous class and solved few problems related to strain energy. The expression for strain energy is m square dx divided by 2ei. So there were two derivations which we had derived in the previous session. First derivation was related to a uh, component which has been subjected to purely, purely an axial load. And second derivation was a derivation related to a component which has been subjected to a bending, that is flexure. So when it has been subjected to a bending, we made use of theory of simple bending equation, that is m by i is equal to f by y is equal to e by r. So as a resultant, we had derived this particular expression and this particular expression is nothing but an expression called as strain energy expression stored in a particular member. This strain energy expression stored in a particular member was equated to an external work done that is half P into delta. This particular method is a method what is called as strain energy method. By this method, we had solved a similar problem. Now. We are going to make use of this strain energy to find out the slope and deflection at the free end of the cantilever beam by Castiglione's method. To find out slope and deflection at the free end of the cantilever beam by making use of the expression of strain energy. So delta at any position will be partial differentiation of the strain energy with respect to load. That is when I partially differentiate this, this particular expression. 2 e, I, e is constant, I is constant because modulus of elasticity is constant, I moment of inertia is constant. So when I partially differentiate uh, m square, I shall yield 2m dou m by dou p divided by 2 e. So this will be an expression to find out the deflection at the free end of the cantilever beam when it is being subjected to UDL or any form of the loading. So condition here is wherever I want to find out deflection at that particular position it is essential to have a concentrated force. Previous problem we had solved a problem related to a cantilever beam carrying a point load at the free end. During that particular condition concentrated force has already been present at the position where deflection was calculated. So in such situation we do not require any imposition of dummy force. Now here. In this particular condition, A and B is a beam and we don't have a concentrated force at point B to find out deflection. For that reason, we are going to implement or impose a concentrated force or a dummy force. To introduce a dummy force, I will call that particular dummy force as Q. So this is nothing but Q as a dummy force or a fictitious force. This fictitious force during the process of integration shall be equated to zero. Reason, this particular force in reality does not exist. You are going to introduce just to have a partial differentiation at the position where the deflection needs to be evaluated. For that reason, you are introducing a dummy force at the position where deflection needs to be evaluated. Now to begin with the solution here, I need to find out, to find out this particular solution, I need to find out the first expression is M. So M expression will be, consider this particular cantilever beam, section will start from B and end at A. So M will be W into X into X by 2. That is, UDL has been placed on the top fiber. When the UDL has been placed on the top fiber, section shall, shall start from point B. It will proceed towards the left hand side. 
consider any distance x now. So when I consider any distance x at the part wherever there is a load, the load is on the right hand side which shall rotate in the clockwise direction. So total magnitude of the load is W, length of the load is x, centered, centered of that particular load will be x by 2. So which indicates you are going to calculate the degree of rotation being caused by the UDL. That is W into x into x by 2. Apart from that you also introduce a fixious force to find out the deflection. This fixious force with reference to the given point shall again rotate in the clockwise direction. For that reason it will be plus Q into x. This will be an expression for M. So when I have this particular x term been introduced in both the uh, loading criteria, x has should have a variation. So x shall start from B and it will terminate at A now. So when it starts from B, x value is 0, at A x value will be L, which indicates the limits of integration that I need to substitute will be 0 to L and which shall vary from point B to point A. So considering this particular expression for delta, so delta will be equals to 2m dou m by dou p 2 divided by 2 ei dx. Here delta what I express on the left hand side will be a position where dummy force has been imposed. Now dummy force is imposed at point B. So delta will be expressed as delta B. So delta B is equal to integration 2m dou m by dou p divided by 2 ei into dx. So we shall substitute all the terms related to this particular expression. So which it gets 2 to gets cancelled sub integration m will be w x square by 2 plus qx that is the expression for m. Now dou m by dou p. So dou m by dou p if I consider this particular equation dou m by dou p. Do take care it is not dou m by dou x it has to be an expression for dou m by dou p. So when I consider the first term here, I don't have P term. So as a resultant, partial differentiation term will yield zero. Second expression will be Q into X, which is partial differentiation with respect to Q. So partial differentiation with respect to Q will be X plus of X. So dou M by dou Q will be equals to X. So substitute the second term here as X dx divided by ei. 2 shall not be written in the denominator because 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator gets cancelled up. So this is what is the expression for delta b. Now if I integrate as it is then I need to express with a constant of integration. For that reason I need to substitute the limits of integration. So limits of integration will be from b to a. For that reason it will be 0 to l. In actual, in the diagram, Q is not been placed. Q does not exist. Q is been placed just to find out the deflection. For that reason, put P, put Q is equal to 0, which is fixious force is equal to 0. That is dummy force is equal to 0. So when I impose Q is equal to 0, the expression that is left out is Wx square by 2 plus of 0. Then into x dx divided by wx square by 2 plus 0 into x dx divided by ei. So I expand this particular term to get the total value of delta b which has been expressed on towards the left hand side. So delta b will be equals to after expansion 1 by ei take it outside within the integration term 0 to l wx cube divided by 2 dx. First term x square into x will come out to x cube dx divided by 2. So delta b is equal to 1 by ei w by 2 take it outside 0 to l x cube dx. w by 2 ei integration of x cube will be x to the power of 4 divided by 4 0 to l which is delta b. So delta b is equal to w by 2 as it is, w by 2 ei kept as it is. Within the bracket it will be l raised to 4 divided by 4 minus of 0. So first limit when I substitute l raised to 4 divided by 4. Second limit when I substitute minus of 0. 
expanding the term w l raised to 4 divided by in the denominator it will be 2 into 4 will be into, is equal to 8 here so this will be the value of deflection for cantilever beam subjected to a udla throughout the span the same expression the same beam we are supposed to find out so what we have evaluated just now is deflection and deflection value at the free end of the cantilever beam is w l raised to 4 divided by ati now next task is to find out the value of slope to find out the value of slope i shall redraw this particular section again so when i redraw the section again consider a cantilever beam carrying a udl and the magnitude of udl is w per meter span of the beam is l now to find out this particular slope theta b so theta b as per castiglione's theorem it will be 2m dou m by dou m that is to find out deflection it is partial differentiation of the strain energy with respect to load to find out slope it is partial differentiation of the strain energy with respect to moment divided by 2ei same condition prevails here as that we had calculated for deflection so section shall start from point b and it will proceed towards the left hand side and it will terminate at a so when section starts at b and it will proceed to a x value at b will be 0 and x value at a will be l considering at any distance x moment at x we need to calculate now when i calculate moment at x i need to ensure does this particular beam have a moment at the point where slope needs to be evaluated now here slope needs to be evaluated at point b i need to look back at the diagram and check out whether moment is present at point b so that the partial differentiation term can be considered looking at this particular diagram moment that is concentrated moment does not exist so for that reason i'll introduce a dummy moment which is m and this particular dummy moment will be equated to zero during the process of integration now when we consider moment with respect to any distance x mx shall be expressed as w into x into x divided by 2 plus of m do m x divided by do x will be first term there is no m which will be zero plus of m 1 so do m x divided by do x will be equals to 1 so this is the value of the partial differentiation term of moment with respect to x calculation of slope will be partial differentiation 2m dou m by dou m divided by 2ei 2 2 gets cancelled up the next term is to substitute the value of m to substitute the value of m m term is w x square by 2 x into x will come out to x square by 2 plus of m dou m x by dou x dou m dou m x by dou m here it was we don't have m term here so that's why we have expressed as 0 dou m by dou m the expression would come out as 1 so substitute the value of 1 divided by ei which is theta b substitute the limit as 0 to l before expanding the bracket we need to ensure and look back at the diagram whether all the road really exist here w is been present in the diagram so we shall keep it as it is the first term shall be kept as it is second term m in the diagram original diagram or the statement of the problem diagram m does not exist but we have introduced m just to find out slope for that reason whichever is the dummy moment or the fictitious moment that particular moment needs to be put as zero so put m is equal to zero theta b will be equals to zero to l w x square by two ei first term will be 0 this term will be 0 w x square by 2 into 1 will come out to w x square by 2 2 will be shifted in the denominator so that's why it is 2 ei theta b will be w divided by 2 ei take it outside as it is a constant and the integration term that is left out is x square dx integration of x square will be integration of x square will be x cube by 3 0 to l substitute the term it shall be w by 2 
L cube divided by 3 minus of 0. First term it will be L cube divided by 3 minus of 0. Theta b will be equals to W L cube divided by 6 EI. So this is what is the slope that will be calculated or will be the value of slope for a cantilever beam subjected to a UDL throughout. So if I redraw this particular beam, the beam will have the deflection value is W L raised to 4 divided by 8 EI and inclination that is theta b will be W L cube divided by 6 EI. And this theta what we are going to evaluate will be expressed in terms of radiance and not in terms of degrees. This is how we are supposed to find out slope and deflection at the free end of the cantilever beam subjected to a UDL. In both the cases since the concentrated force is not present and moment is not present we are going to introduce a dummy force and dummy moment at the position where slope and deflection needs to be calculated. And to find out deflection it is partial differentiation of the strain energy with respect to load and to find out moment it is partial differentiation of the strain energy with respect to moment to find out slope. Thank you. Have a nice day.